yeah, man, I'm just super grateful for you and what you've done. I mean, like, it's sure. just, it's going from zero to hero, you know, like this is, this is going to stay with me for the rest of my life. And I want that for the guys listening to this. Cause I was you a month ago or two months ago. Okay. I know you're sitting there on your computer. You've had a dry spell. You probably haven't been laid in the last year or two, God forbid, five, 10 years. You, you're just like one, a couple of clicks away from solving your problems. This is not, you think, you mentally think of this as like uh, Mount Everest, but to John, it's just like a speed bump. He's been there. He's done that. So leverage his experience, leverage his systems, get in and help yourself. Okay. And from there, you, you'll, you'll, you'll thank yourself like five months from now, or in my case, two months from now, and just kick yourself for saying, oh man, I should have done that sooner. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we have Xavier, uh, which is a pseudonym, preferring to remain anonymous. Um, we have a guy that, that just uh, is coming to the end of my eight-week mentorship program, made significant progress. We're gonna, uh, went from zero lays to five lays currently, uh, but had a, a rocky start in the beginning, which we'll go over. And, but yeah, I think the five, the five lays were uh, in the past three weeks. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So five girls in three weeks in the, in the last three weeks of the program. Um, and we'll go over the, the details of that. Uh, before we continue, please subscribe if you have not already. Press the notification bell for new videos every single day. And also, if you have interest in getting results like this, like you're about to hear about, jump on a free 30-minute call with me. The link is in the description. So let's start off. We'll give a background. Uh, so go ahead. You can, you can tell like your age, uh, location, um, you know, just a little, bit, a little bit of background about yourself. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm 21 years old. I'm based here in New York City. Before getting on John's program, I was a virgin. Uh, I'm currently studying, uh, getting my, uh, almost graduating as an engineer. And uh, I'm also running a business part-time, but I, I was having trouble getting results. And Basically, I was working on my business and couldn't concentrate because I was thinking of like, you know, girls. <laughs> so I needed to get this handled. Exactly. So John here has helped me with that. Okay. And so, okay. So tell me what, what were your results like before, before the training? Um, like before two months ago, were you attempting to cold approach? Were you, um, were you going on dates? Were you getting phone numbers? What, what were your results like? Uh no discernible lack of results. I did do several cold approaches, but they did not go anywhere because I did not have a structure. Uh, I had um, friends nearby, girls that liked me in college and high school and whatnot, but I never knew how to capitalize on that. And yeah, I just basically didn't go out as much. So no results, unfortunately. Okay. Um, and who were you following before? Which which uh, stuff on YouTube, which did you buy any products or take any programs or, or were you just watching free content? I was watching free content for a while. I was predominantly following uh, Todd from RSD. Now he started his own company, but uh, I found that many of his techniques were a little uh, over the top to say the least and uh, very unnecessary. And they didn't help me with getting any results that, yeah. he, that he teaches. Yeah, so I, I have a, a roast on Todd on my channel. And this isn't meant to be a bash video. But I will note that I do get Todd's students that come after they take Todd's training. And almost every single time, the guy got literally nothing out of the training. It's, it, a lot of Todd's uh, techniques are very overcomplicated, unnecessary. Um, he just kind of, whereas my, my system is all about making it as simple as possible and no simpler, not oversimplified, but, but just making it straightforward and, and um, you know, the whole Occam's razor principle, make it as simple as possible, but no simpler. On the other hand, Todd uh, mass goes kind of in the other direction, adds all these different things like cold reading, push pulls, building the story, uh, bouncing from the venue to venue, all these things to overcomplicate and actually confuse the student and make results worse. So there's a guy in the mentorship right now that went through Todd's formal program, got laid zero times and is, is massively confused. And a lot of that stuff is, is messing up um, his interactions now. I'm teaching him the correct strategy and he's doing this old Todd stuff 
that's really messing things up. So, okay. Now, uh, go into how things changed once you started working with me. Absolutely. So the first month I had a rocky beginning due to not having my online game sources working. But once I started going out uh, doing day game, my first poll was from, uh, surprisingly enough, an Insta poll from day game. So I met yeah. the girl in the daytime, brought yeah. her back to my place. It was a huge leap, but uh, because I memorized most of John's objection handlers and just going through really important transition points, like closing at the house, mm -hmm. uh, up opening strongly, standing, uh, shoulders stand up. Uh, what am I saying? Shoulders aligned, you know, good vocal tonality, yeah. all that stuff. I practiced and practiced it over and over. And I was able to get an instant pull on my first pull. So that really, I mean, that, that does wonders, you know, from a guy that couldn't get any results before now he's pulling from the streets. That's yep. crazy. Yeah, yeah. and I want to I want to interject real quick. Uh, so I did a video going over your field report, which I know you got to see that, right? I'm pretty sure you saw it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that I will put. Uh, we'll pop up the, the thumbnail of that, but I'll put the link in the description. You can go um, watch that video. I'll, I'll also have it at the end of this video. Um, a link to it in the next in the next video section at the end. Um, basically, we go through his whole field report of that day game pull from his own words and his own experience but yeah that's that I, I as i said in that video that's actually very impressive uh to do as a virgin because on the game difficulty scale that is up there in in terms of um you know skills required so but he was armed with objection handlers with how to sexualize how to open how to move her to the venue and you encountered resistance i think you said at first that she didn't want to uh move from the the street to the coffee shop is that right Correct. Right. Yeah. And yeah, you, you got her to go there. Then you actually, uh, you made one of the rookie mistakes where you, where you went on public transit. I think it was a 40 minute uh, tra train, uh, train ride, I guess, instead of, or subway, instead of uh, taking a cab, which would have taken 20, but you handled even that adversity with, with continuing to banter, et cetera. And then you had like, a, a, you know, another compliance leap is once you're back at the house, about to go into the house, she had some hesitation to go inside and you, you smoothed that out. And then I was, I was happy that you even um, did things correctly. Even after he went through the escalation process properly and hooked up, then he set the next date as you're supposed to while in person, went out for Mexican food on the second date and then saw her again in clothes. And now that's one of his regulars. Now, and how many girls do you have on rotation now out of the five closes? Right now I have three. Okay. So yeah. And, and three weeks ago, Right. So it's an eight week program, but he, he had issues with his online game stuff being shadow banned and, and it, you know, we won't get into that, but uh, in three weeks, five closes and three of them on rotation, which is, which is a huge improvement. Um, and so what would you say like are the, are the biggest takeaways from the mentorship and like what, what was different from my training versus what you had gone through before and on the, the free content that you were consuming? Absolutely. So uh, definitely getting the coaching lets you ask John all your stupid questions and your insecurities. He'll handle those and realize uh, why they're not relevant. That's one thing. Um, really, uh, as John and many um, people who take the program realize, once you really master the objections, like, yeah. uh, well, well, that's a big thing, too. So a lot of people, other coaches teach about a uh, building the attraction, right? Using all these gimmicky stuff to build the attraction, going from zero to a hundred um, in the, in the girl's eyes. But John teaches you to know, to not do that. You, you just assume you're attractive and then it's just managing her logistics and objections, getting her alone so that you're one-on-one. -on -one. So that was a huge mindset shift for me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, um, I don't teach any of the formal, uh, gimmicky things that guys are trying to do in interactions. I don't teach push pulls or cold reading or building investment or qualifying or any of these traditional things. I, I view everything through the lens of compliance. And this is actually mysteries concept. That's the core of the model is that everything is compliance and non-compliance. You move forward along, you know, what people have referred to my system as the Jordan Belfort straight line persuasion system. I'm giving you the structure from open to close, 
when you hit a point of resistance or non-compliance and it comes off the straight line, I show you how to optimally deal with that objection and move it forward again. So I tell you the 14 major objections that come up when you try to pull. I tell you the objections that come up over text and how to answer them. There's logistics objections, safety objections, hookup objections, uh, comfort objections, et cetera. Um, then there's objections to go home with you from the date. There's objections to hook up with you. And there's even objections to see you again. So like once you master all those and you know that they're coming, they, they don't come as a surprise. And you probably uh, also, most guys feel this way. It was probably a big realization to realize that objections not only are normal, but they're going to happen most of the time. And that doesn't mean she's not interested. That's just part of the, the normal course of how it, how it works. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's, that's actually the main point. Like John's, John's purpose is to get you over the goal line one or two times. Once you get one or two closes following his system, predominantly because of the objection handlers and the uh, logistics, you'll realize all the other subsequent lessons. Stuff like rejection doesn't matter. It's not personal. Um, you know, uh, some girls are just out of your control. They have things going on in their life. It's not a big deal. And that, you know, you have to put in a lot of volume. It is a numbers game. So all the subsequent lessons that I learned is because John teaches you those objections. Mm -hmm. So once you get those first couple of wins and closes, like everything else falls into place. Yeah. And how do you, how does it feel now? Like um, we just, we just had our, our review as he's coming up at the end of the course um, where, where you, you noted that it's, it's, making things more positive in, in terms of like family and friends and, and work relationships as well. What have you noticed like it, it has, has like shifted as your stuff, as your skills of women have improved? Absolutely. So um, they say how like, as you get more competent in a certain domain, you gain confidence. Competence is directly correlated to confidence. So if you get really good at um, picking up girls that will boost your overall general confidence. And so that's happened to me where like, I have better posture, better vocal tonality. When my parents start giving me crap about why are you going out at, you know, late at night, uh, you know, I can handle it better. I, I can set boundaries because I did it with the girls yeah. or friends. They're, they're like, hey man, why are you ghosting me? I'm like, I'm trying to close this girl right now. You know, like this is more important, but uh, yeah, it's just, you become more entitled, you set boundaries and, people respect them. That's the crazy part. Yeah. And how, how, and how did it feel? I already, I already asked you this in one of the calls we had, but how did, how did it feel uh, from, you know, from your own words to, to describe once you, once you got the, the close and then once you got repeated closes and then got girls in rotation, cause this all happened very quickly about a month ago, you didn't have any, any results for your whole life yet. Oh, euphoric. I mean, I, I couldn't sleep. Like it was just beyond my reality. I mean, it's, it's, it's life-changing stuff. Um, and, you know, I, I just want to zone in on the guy listening to this, okay? The guy listening to this right now, you're probably a guy who's, like, invested into being, like, you know, having a growth-oriented mindset. You're putting in the effort to go to the gym, improve your career, X, Y, Z. And I was you a month ago, right? So my point is, there, when, you, when you have these breakthroughs in life, if you look back on them, it's always because of one person that you met at the correct time to solve your problems. And for me, that was John, you know. So if you're having problems, like, don't click on another pickup video, you know, don't work. Don't just go on this endless loop. Take the initiative. John has proven that his system is one of the best in the world or if not the best, you know, according to him. Uh, so take that leap of faith and just try it out. Try it out. You know, there's no obligation on the call. And it, it's just right, the right person at the right time can change your life. And I can definitively say that John is that person in this realm uh, of your life, your dating and seduction and relationship life. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. We had, I like, I like the stories when, when a virgin does very, very well, because this is a guy that, uh, you know, when you're a virgin, you're, you're coming from a place with no results whatsoever. And then it's a massive transformation. You're still pretty young. You're 21. I, I did another video a couple months back. We had a guy from the UK. It's one of my, my favorite stories because he took six paid, like long training courses. He took three RST boot camps, natural lifestyle styles, immersion, a Todd V mentorship. And one other one, I can't remember. 
and he was still a virgin. And when we, when we got on the phone, he said, listen, I'm 28. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars on training. No one's helped me. Everyone's promised they will. I'm very skeptical. I'm very depressed. I'm ready to give up. And I walked him through very systematically. I said, we're going to optimize your pictures. We're going to plug you into these optimized messaging sequences, going from a match to a phone number and going from a phone number to a date. I'm going to show you how to run your dates, how to close your dates, how to keep the girl around. And we're going to show you how to incorporate cold approach polls and number closes for more dates. And it is going to be very hard to not get results. You're going to probably get results very fast. And he said, can you guarantee it? And I said, no, because I can't, you know, there's so many factors. I can't guarantee that I'll get laid in a particular week or weekend. Um, but he took the leap of faith just because of how, how I presented it so systematically. And he ended up losing his Virginia on day four. That's it's, it can literally be that fast. And then he ended up with eight girls across the eight weeks. He was closing about a girl a week. Once you started getting closes, you got five in three weeks, which is even faster than what he did. And what's interesting with that guy is eight. I remember like by week five, he went out with his first girl above an eight and he like really bombed it. And he was like kind of rattled. He got like a make out, but he like made a bunch of mistakes. And I said, dude, that's totally normal because I always tell guys, you can't just be icy cool around girls that you're not, you know, that are quality higher than what you're used to. There's a natural acclimation period because you start trying to go off the, the normal uh, script, so to speak, the normal strategy, because you think, oh, this girl's different. She's hotter. Uh, I'm afraid to make this joke. She might get offended. I'm afraid, you know, and guys are also thinking like, how do I gain more points? How do I not lose points? You know, they're just like intimidated. And they're also uh, overanalyzing everything they're saying and doing and this and that. And the same thing happened to me when I was first around hot chicks. And that's natural. And I, I always try to be very realistic with guys, like where I talk about my 10% close rate for my phone numbers. You can't be icy cool around a hot girl right out of the gate, right? So, but five weeks before, he hadn't had any success, right? In the, in the whole rest of his 20s. So um, that's that's a huge improvement. So, yeah, man, did you have any closing thoughts in, in terms of, uh, you know, message for, for those that are considering uh, possibly trying something like this? It's what I offer is an eight-week program where we go through my entire system. There's four calls a week. Uh, two with me personally, two with the head coach of my team. And you're basically plugging into an optimized system and then you hit blocks and points of weakness and we clear them away on the calls. And then we're just fast tracking you to the most optimal strategy as fast as possible. And the goal is, um, you know, not only to max out your skill level, but to fix this problem for life and, and get you to a level where, where everything's very optimized. And since I've been coaching this stuff for 10 years, helped thousands of guys, I know the major problems the guys run into. I know how to fix them quickly. So, but did you have any, any last uh, takeaways or thoughts? Yeah, man, I'm just super grateful for you and what you've done. I mean, like, it's sure. just, it's going from zero to hero, you know, like this is, this is going to stay with me for the rest of my life. And I want that for the guys listening to this. Cause I was you a month ago or two months ago. Okay. I know you're sitting there on your computer. You've had a dry spell. You probably haven't been laid in the last year or two. God forbid, five, 10 years. You, you're just like one, a couple of clicks away from solving your problems. This is not, you think, you mentally think of this as like uh, Mount Everest, but to John, it's just like a speed bump. He's been there. He's done that. So leverage his experience, leverage his systems, get in and help yourself. Okay. And from there, you, you'll, you'll, you'll thank yourself like five months from now, or in my case, two months from now, and just kick yourself for saying, oh, man, I should have done that sooner. Your, your time is limited. You know, this, this problem is going to be solved. You need to get it handled right now. So book the call, buy one of his products, whatever your budget is, make it happen. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's important because like a lot of guys um, that I talk to, they think it's just going to work itself out eventually. And that, that unfortunately, is not the case. I get on the phones with guys that are even in their 40s or 50s or 60s, and still don't know how to do it. And now they're looking back at a life of, of lost time, right? And it's a pretty bad feeling for them. They, they missed out on all their good years um, being confused and, and trying to just think, you know, I had a guy tell me the other day, he's like, well, you figured it out on your own. I'm just going to go try to figure it out on my own. And I said, dude, I leveraged all the best people I could find. I thought about this stuff around the clock for like 15 years, 13,500 phone numbers worth of data in my phone and in and, and the massive analysis powers that I was given genetically um, with the genetic luck of the draw, it wasn't an easy task by any means. And there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. If you wanted to master 
chess or poker, you would go to a top player, a grandmaster, or, you know, someone who can show you how they got to the top and, and shortcut that whole process. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel here. So thank you, man, so much for coming on the call. Um, if you guys are interested in, in getting this handled, jump on a free 30 minute call with me. The link is in the description and we will put the link to his field report from his first poll, which actually ironically happened on Valentine's day, which is a cool coincidence. And, um, he, he goes through all the details there of how he was able to make that happen. Um, but yeah, thanks again for coming on, man. And please subscribe below if you have not already and press the notification bell for new videos every single day. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks again, man. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Take care. Okay. Take care guys. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.